So welcome to our discussion on error propagation. Because this is a laboratory course, our experimental results are prone to errors. Okay, so these errors is uh, these errors are apparent maybe in an actual uh, physics laboratory, but since we are doing the laboratory uh, virtually, maybe uh, uh, these errors are unnoticeable. But uh, I just want to uh, share with you uh, the computations and the rules of uh, computing uncertainty, right? So there are rules on error propagation and this is based from the book of John R. Taylor and Introduction to Error Analysis, okay? So first rule is for uncertainty in sums and differences. So if we have a measured value Q and it's equal to the sum or difference of uh, certain different quantities so let us simplify this one uh, let us just use uh, two quantities here for example if we have uh, u is equal to x plus z right so we have uncertainty for x and we have uncertainty for z okay for example x is given as the mean value of x plus or minus the uncertainty in x and for z we have the mean value of z plus or minus the uncertainty in z okay but we are after the q the value of q which is the sum of x and z so how do we calculate for the value of q okay so since we are solving for q the mean value of q is just equal to the given function the mean value of x plus the mean value of z okay but how about the uh, uncertainty of q okay so the uncertainty of q is computed as the sum of the uncertainties of the individual quantities okay so delta q from the given q is equal to x plus z so delta q is just equal to the uncertainty in z plus the uncertainty in x all right so this uh, uncertainty is the same even when the given uh, uh, formula for q is q is equal to x minus z okay the uncertainty in q is just uh, equal to delta x plus delta z okay it's still the sum of the quantities of the uh, uncertainty for the given quantities okay and to report for q therefore q is just equal to the mean value of q plus the uncertainty in q okay so that's how you report and that's how you compute for the uncertainty of q if we are given a formula summing the uh, quantities all right another rule is for uncertainty in products and quotient so this is this rule is applicable for uh, formulas containing products and quotient meaning the the operation is multiplication or division okay example uh, q is equal to x times z or q is equal to x divided by z okay if the given formula or function is in this form uh, then we are going to use this rule okay so uh, the the mean value of q in this case the mean value of q is just equal to the mean value of x multiplied by the mean value of z okay in this case the other one the mean value of q is just equal to the mean value of x divided by the mean value of z okay but our concern here is the uncertainty in q okay the uncertain uncertainty in q is given by this formula it's actually fractional uncertainty 
Okay, so if we are given two variables, for example, then delta Q over the absolute value of Q is equal to delta X all over the absolute value of X, I mean the mean value, mean value of X, and then plus delta Z all over the mean value of Z. Okay, so this formula is what we are going to use if uh, we are given either a product or a quotient uh, formula. Okay, but of course we are concerned with uh, the uncertainty in Q. So what do we need to do here is just to compute for this value and then multiply everything by this one. Okay, so we have times the absolute value of the mean value of Q. Okay, that's how you compute delta Q. Right, so I hope you get the algebra there. Another rule is for uh, uncertainty for a measured quantity times exact number. So we have a constant here, Q is equal to Bx. This B right here is constant. Okay, so if we are given formulas something like this, then the uncertainty is delta Q is just the absolute value of B times the uncertainty in X. Right, so that's how. The formula goes for the uncertainty in Q if we are given uh, the product of a constant and a quantity, right? And finally, if we are given a power, Q is equal to X raised to N, then this is our formula for the uncertainty. Okay, since we are, we are concerned with the uncertainty in Q, we just need to multiply this by the absolute value of so delta Q is just equal to N delta X all over the absolute value of X multiplied by the absolute value of the mean value of So this is our formula for the uncertainty in Q. If for your first laboratory experiment, laboratory exercises, uh, you're going to measure, uh, someone measured already the length and the width of the table. So the, we are concerned with the error in the area. The area of a rectangular table is equal to length times width. So basically, you are going to use the uh, uncertainty for in products and quotients, right? Because the area, area is equal to, let me write in here, the area is just equal to length times width. Uh, since this area is a function of L and width, and uh, the the operation use is uh, multiplication so this is a product so we use this uh, this rule right so what do we need to do here we need to compute for l first and w first so l is given as the mean value of l plus or minus the uncertainty in l and w is uh, the mean value of w plus or minus the uh, uncertainty in W right and then after that we need to compute for the mean value of area which is it is just equal to the mean value of length times the mean value of W and then for the uncertainty of the area we just need to use this one so we use the uh, Delta L all over L plus Delta W all over W and then we just multiply it by the uh, mean value of the area. and that's how you compute for your first laboratory exercise okay you can refer to this uh, presentation every now and then later on for uh, the succeeding laboratory experiment all right